All right, listen up, Slick. The shit really hit the fan back in town. There was supposed to be a ceasefire, but that's all out the window now. I work for a guy named Kakumba, local boss for the United Front. I've got all my decent guys out in the field trying to keep the APR from making a land grab. So that just leaves you to take care of the monkey work. First thing, I need to get that piece of shit coop outside back on the road. You look like a vocational school dropout. Go out there and see if you can get the engine running. Try not to get distracted between the door and the car. You look like you're gonna drop that any second. Guard! Now that you're mobile, you think you can pull off a raid? The APR's got a forward position half a click south of here. If something bad happened to the shitheads manning that post, no one would ever know. Go take him out.
need you to scout out an APR stronghold further south of your position, an old lumber camp. I want to know what resources they got down there. There's a primo observation point marked on your map. Head there now. Got your intel. Not bad. You see the bricked up place? I hear the APR's got a hostage in there, some foreign national like you. Your new orders are to get in there and break them out. Finish up your recon if you think it'll help. What the fuck is happening? Who are you? Who are these Vera guys? Now there's one very bad case of malaria. 
He'll spit up for now, but later you'll find me at Mike's bar. I know a guy who can give you medicine, okay? Expected. Look, maybe I was hasty in my evaluation of you. Guys that do good work for me get paid. Come on back up to the fishing pier and I'll cash you out. You made it. All right. Okay, here's how it works around here. The only currency worth shit is rough diamonds. Don't accept paper money from anybody. I wouldn't wipe my ass with it. You do work for the UFLL, you get paid in stones. Now, one of my guys, not the sharpest blade in the set, picked up a case of diamonds and dropped them off here yesterday. He stuck them somewhere in camp and promptly got shot in the head back in town. Maybe you killed him. Anyway, if you want those rocks, go outside and find them. The case has a tracker you can home in on with your compass. If I were you, I'd go buy some medicine first. That malaria is nothing to screw around with. You'll probably have some luck over at Mike's Bar. All those expat cabrones drink there. Get yourself healthy and come by the front office in town. I'll introduce you to Kakumba. Get you hooked up. Hey, he's coming out. Hasta luego.
just that noise. Yes. You remember me? Or maybe not, whatever. My name is Josip. So, we have patient here. He needs medicine. No problem. But Garrett there has pills, plenty of them. You ask. And sometime you get in trouble, you find me. I help you. He's what I do best. Help people. I help whole village practically back home. Ten nieces, twelve nephews. No kids for you? Good, not here anyway. No place for kids. Now adventure begins. Yeah, what? Wait a minute, you're that new guy. Badass. Wait a minute, you're that new g Badass. Oh, you people never stop. Here's the bloody tape, all right? That's it. That's all I've got. Well, aren't you going to destroy it? That's what your friends usually do. Wait, you're not here for the tapes, are you? Oh, I see the problem now. You can get the pills you need from the church in Pala. The priest there will help you, assuming you make it in time. Just passes along for me. You 
can't break a man the way you break a dog or a horse. The harder you beat a man, the taller. So you're not one of them. I'm Ruben Oluagembi, what you call a stringer. And you are new, I can tell by the state of your clothes. They are much too clean. You are taking a chance talking to me, I'm persona non grata around here. The warlords want me out of the country. They don't like the story I'm writing. It's about the war, and about them of course. But mostly it's about the famous arms dealer, the Jaka. That was him on the tape. Do you know I have covered 16 wars across Africa? 16. And every time he has been there, selling his weapons and making a fortune while millions of people suffer and die. He thinks he can continue to do his work in secret, but not this time. These stories, they are going to come out. The jackers, the warlords, the soldiers, the boy soldiers, even the NGOs. I intend to expose the whole sordid mess. I make it sound very dramatic. We'll see if anybody back home even notices. I've been interviewing people for months now. Diplomats, warlords, civilians, whoever I could trick into talking to me. I had some fantastic material. Then the soldiers confiscated my tapes. They said they destroyed them, but maybe not. I don't know. I can't very well go looking for them. I'm no good with a gun, you see. And you need one these days just across the street. You've seen the fighting. The war is getting worse by the minute. It's absurd. Because why are they fighting? For what? You can see the country is destroyed. The people, the diamonds, the cities. What about the rages on with the jackers weapons, no less? It is going to end badly. And I'm afraid I'll be here to see it. I'm a bit of a robber neck, I suppose. Listen, if you find any more of my tapes, please bring them back to me. Here at the bar. I need them for my story. I'll tell you right now, I can't pay you. I can only offer you my worthless friendship in return. Wait a minute, you're that new guy, badass. Wait a minute, you're that new guy, hey. Anything I can do for you, man, just ask. I mean, you name it, I can do it. Firearms, explosives, hand to hand. Badass. I mean, you name it, I can do it. Firearms, explosives, hand to hand. Whatever. Right. I'm sorry, there aren't regular services at the moment. Oh, you're not well. You should see a doctor before you really need a priest. Did Ruben send you? He had something for me. I would be very happy to give you what little medicine I have in exchange. I think you should take one of those right away.
Those will only last a short while, but I may know where to get more. Not all of my people have left. Many are trapped, scared of what will happen if they are caught trying to leave. And there are others who have chosen to stay. We try to help where we can, and we could use someone like you. You should come back when you require more medicine. 